You know what's really nice about traveling in winter is that virtually nobody else wants to. So it's not that unusual to have a whole dorm room in a hostel all to yourself and you can visit all the lovely touristy destinations without all the tourists. Hallo Leute, wir sind hier in Österreich. We are in Salzburg in Austria. I wanted to come here for such a long time. I just got here. Like I arrived last night and this is my first time I've just come outside. I already feel like this place has a good atmosphere. Standing in front of a palace. Not bad. The reason I've come here at this time is because today and tomorrow this is the time for the Krampusnacht and the, all the Krampus related festivities. I've never seen that sort of thing before so um, hopefully I'll be able to catch some Krampus related festivities this evening. Before that we're just going to go around and do a little bit of sightseeing. Someone who was worshipped here is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. There are so many people staring at me right now. Stop it! He was born and grew up here. This is the home of the Mozart Kugel. So <laughs> we're standing right now in the gardens of Mirabel Palace. It looks very posh and pretty. So I think we should go have a look around. I think it would be a good day. I feel really good spiritually. Okay, let's go. I don't know that much about this place, but to the best of my understanding, the chap that had this place commissioned all those many years ago did so to impress his girlfriend. <laughs> I would not mind if a man did that to impress me. I would be cool with that. I've just been in there. <laughs> I just went in there to Mozart's Vaughan House, where he lived as an hour, presumably before moving to Vienna. God, he didn't live very long. It's terrifying. He only lived to be a few years older than me. But I feel like in his lifetime he achieved a lot more than I have so far. It was interesting. They had some displays of some very old instruments. I love that sort of shit. Lots and lots and lots of locks. Always wanted to do that. Always wanted to, you know, engrave my name and the name of my dearly beloved on a lock and put it somewhere romantic like this. Hey ho. A few months ago, I guess it was, uh, a lovely lady from Austria sent me a parcel on the post. And in it was this beautiful fascinator which I've actually brought with me, which I might wear tomorrow because I feel like I cannot squeeze another day of life out of my hair. Um, and also the most marvellous chocolate. I'm hoping that I can find some comparatively nice chocolate while I'm here. The strangest thing just happened. Really. This lady comes up to me and just tells me, I can see your future. I'm not asking for money or anything. You have a lot of sadness with your recent love history, basically. Uh, she said, two men love you, but you love only one of them. I see happiness in your future. You have a big heart, you love people, and that I would have two children or something, I think. She was speaking German. I was doing my best to understand. She said, I don't have children yet, but I, I think she said that I'll have two. It's not every day that someone just comes up to you and gives you like a reading on the street. I feel a bit special. Someone just took my photo. I'm not in a vindictive mood. I'm not going to like photograph people who photograph me today. Not this time. Basically said that I have recently felt a lot of hurt in my love life and that the future is looking good. It gives me some hope. <laughs> I think I've made it back to town just in time. I hear bells. Bit of a background if you're not familiar. Krampus is kind of like Santa's evil equivalent. While Santa brings good children presents at Christmas, Krampus punishes the naughty children. If I were a child, again, not that I was ever a child, but if I were told, oh well, you know, if you're naughty, Santa won't bring you any presents and you'll just have to go without, you know? Is that really, you know, but your parents are probably going to give them to you anyway. Is that really that much motivation to behave, to be good? What if, instead of just going without if you're naughty, how about if you're bad, Krampus will take you away in his basket and drown you?
Hanging in there. Okay, we're going now to the Christmas market. Oh, my hair got grabbed twice. I got whipped like eight or nine times and like brushed in the face many times. <laughs> now, children, what have we learned? You better not pout. You better not cry. You better not shout. I'm telling you why. This pampas will take you away in his basket and drown you. <laughs> Get away 
I am so sorry I didn't film that. Of all the things not filmed, if you thought that one lady screaming at the Christmas market a couple of years ago was a big deal, it was Hi! Talk about an ear piercing scream, I don't think I look that scary compared to some of the babies here. Oh my god, I can't even believe how messed up my hair is. Wow, that's hot. It has been quite an amazing day. It really has. But anyway, I'd better say goodnight to you before my battery dies. And I'll just stand here in the shadow of all these beautiful rock buildings. Thank you so much for joining me on Krampusnacht here in Salzburg. Österreich. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. It would make you more awesome too. As always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye!